never thought I'd be here. Uh, there is a God. I'm Dustin Pilcher, for those who uh, don't know me. Uh, my wife's Micah Boyette Pilcher. See, I have two wonderful daughters that uh, got beautiful red hair. And uh, I'd have to say that come from my side, but maybe a little bit of hers. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually, I've uh, been married seven years. Uh, I'm a firefighter paramedic. And uh, I really enjoy that job. I get to meet a lot of interesting people. Uh, been in a lot of good situations. Uh, and I get to minister to a lot of people. I really, I get to see uh, people that they're uh, probably their worst state they've ever been in in their lives, especially in the back of an ambulance, which that's where I'm at 90% of the time. So uh, it, it's a really, really uh, good experience back there. All right, we're going to get to it. Uh, I'm in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. And my title is, is Are You In It? Uh, I want to talk about a good friend I have. He was actually in the Paralympics in Barcelona in 1992. Uh, he actually won a gold medal in the uh, 400 by 100 meter relay. So, uh, uh, can you actually imagine the training that these Olympians go through to get ready? I mean, they have, you know, all kind of training. They have to get up early hours of the morning. He said that he had to run constantly during the hottest part of the days. You know, they got to watch what they eat. I mean, it gets down to the shoes they wear. There's a lot of lot that goes into it. So, my next question is, are we constantly training and being disciplined? And do we have a purpose as Christians? I'm going to start off with verse 24, and that's 1 Corinthians 9, verses 24 through 27. And I'm going to read all the way through them. It says, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs? but only one person gets the prize. So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for the eternal prize. So I run with the purpose in every step. I'm not just beating the air. I am disciplined, or I discipline my body like an athlete training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So, what do you think, you know, Paul is writing this. What do you think Paul is uh, trying to do here? Well, he's trying to compare the Christian life to a race. For as a runner is going for a medal, we are actually going for the eternal crown. Uh, i give you another example. Is when I was going out for the fire department, I was, had to go through agility test, which uh, was, was very difficult. Um, they actually, they, they first, you're, you're nervous, you're hot, you're sweating, you know, about like I am right now. But uh, so... Anyway, they put this bunker coat, they load you down with, with an air pack and a heavy helmet, and uh, they have all these different kind of stations set up, and you're timed. You know, it's a ladder carry, you pick up a ladder, you run around, then you got to grab a dummy, run up some stairs, run down some stairs, go drag a, a hose that's, that's shooting water out of it, and at the very end, at this time, they're like, we got one more for you. And uh, it's 150 foot of three inch hose. So really, that's a lot of hose, and it's very heavy. And you got to run down, and you got to couple them together, and run to this side, couple this one together. Then you can run back down there, grab this one, and you take off. And by this time, you're shaking, you're sweating, and you ain't got nothing left. Your nose is literally almost to the ground when you're dragging that hose. But you drag it. 
and you drop that in, you come over here and you drag this in till they tell you to stop. I've seen a lot of people not make that. But if you have the drive and you have the discipline and the training, and I worked out and ran with weights on my back and everything, but if you have that, you can make it through that final push that you need to go through. So, talking about verse 24, it says, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one gets the prize? So he wants us as Christians to run like we're the only person going to run. Uh, he wants us to run like there's no tomorrow. We want to put all the effort that we have into it, into our Christian walk, into our daily life. Uh, I'm going to go as kind of what Brother Mike always says. Are you praying, reading your Bible? Are you paying attention? Make sure you're doing God's will and not your own. We get into verse 25. It says, All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for the eternal prize. So verse 25, you know, Paul's talking about discipline and training. Uh, you know, as Christians, what should we be doing to get trained, to make ourselves disciplined, and you know, kind of like, what purpose do we have? You know, again, we go back. Are you praying? Are you reading your Bible? Are you going to church? And are you going for the right reasons? Uh, are your reasons are they physical or are they spiritual? So Christians need to be reading their Bible and studying the Word consistently every day. And I'm guilty of not doing that. I'll tell you right now. I'm not ashamed. I'm guilty of all these things I talk about. Also, I tell the church, you know, some of you guys like to work out. You know, I can, uh, I call going to church strengthening your muscles. You know, I always think of the thing when you flex your muscles, say, which way is the gym? I think, which way is the church? So, uh, you know, just as you would if you were uh, a hunter, practice shooting their gun, you know, you're getting ready, you're getting your deer stands together, man, you put a lot into it. Uh, you know, Facebook. How much time are you spending on Facebook? How much time are you spending on just looking at a computer, your cell phones? Are you putting that effort and that drive and training into God's Word and learning God's Word. On to verse 26, it says, So I run with a purpose in every step. I am not just beating the air. Do you have a purpose? Are you just beating the air, you know, looking around? Are you sitting on the couch looking around? Watching the news, watching all this, thinking, man, this, this world's just going down. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I, I want you to, to just practice everything and, and, you know, ask God again for discipline and to give you a purpose for your Christian walk. Um... I got a, a kind of another one as far as, uh, you know, my wife didn't like this one too much, but uh, I said practice if you were getting ready for all those Black Friday sales. Man, you know, I can go to Thanksgiving, and, man, you got people just, uh, my family, you know, calling y'all out. I'm myself, you know, guilty too. But, man, they're going through them papers. Well, they got a purpose, don't they? Uh, you know, they want to find the best deals, the best sales. I mean, they got a plan. They got their, 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 their route and their map, you know, their map out. We're going to go to this store first, this store. You know, they have a purpose. So what's your purpose as Christians? Are you going for the eternal prize? Are you going for the worldly things? So... Just think if you put that much effort 
into studying and learning God's Word every day. And we'll get into verse 27. It says, I discipline my body like an athlete training to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So, you know, how do you get to the point of practicing every day? And Paul says discipline. That is very hard. Very hard to do. Discipline is tough. I know uh, I'm very disciplined in cutting my grass once a week. Uh, he says in verse 27 that I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. So if you're an athlete, you're putting all that time and running and training and, and diet and all the many other things that are going into being uh, an athlete, it'll perform like it should. If you read your Bible, you pray, you go to church, and you strengthen those spiritual muscles, when it comes to the temptations and sin and, and the things you might endure out there, that more than likely you won't endure in here. I'm talking about the world out there, which is crazy. You'll be able to face those. And then in, in the other part of verse 27, it says, Otherwise I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. So what does he mean by that? What is he trying to say? He's saying that if you don't train and stay disciplined, he might lose his privileges about telling others about Christ. But you must try and walk the straight and narrow and do your best to please God. Paul wants us to understand we must finish the job and be an example for everyone else. He don't want us hanging back here in the back. He wants you up front preaching the word or ministering to people and things like that. Giving it your all. And he wants you to be the example for him down here on earth. Basically, he wants us to practice what we preach. Same thing trying out for football, baseball, cheerleading, track. All you people that are into sports. Look, if, if, if you don't work hard and stay disciplined and live like an athlete should and train as an athlete should, are you going to make that team? And then if you're on the team, are you going to keep your position? You know, if you make the baseball team, you got you make first base, and that's your position, you play. If you don't train, you don't go out there and catch ground balls every day and practice hitting, you're going to be on the bench. We as Christians shouldn't be on the bench. So are you, are you even in the race? Training and discipline don't mean a thing if you're sitting on the sidelines. I believe if Christians now, if you claim to be a Christian, we really need to be standing up. Uh, everybody knows you watch the news and get frustrated with it. Well, quit getting frustrated and let's get out there and do something about it. Live like you're supposed to live. Be an example. Read your Bible, pray, and give it all you got. And God wants you in the race, and all you have to do is accept Him. Once you get in the race, it'll be a struggle. It's, it's not going to be easy. I've come to find that out. Uh, there's struggles in life all the time. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It don't mean you're going to get rich if you tie. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. So just as the runners have to put up with a lot of pain to win a medal, we as Christians go through the same thing just in a different way. We're doing it for the eternal prize. If you want to get in the race, you're sitting on the sidelines, now's the time. Come and get the eternal prize. Give your life to Christ and go out there and work for Him.